you've seen his provocative and hilarious videos. Chase Rassan is a fifth generation African American Orthodox Jew, more commonly known as Manish Jana, his blogger name. Outside of his active life as a blogger, he's a full time student in graduate studies in English at CUNY. Thank you for joining me here today. No problem. How did you choose your pseudonym, Manish Jana? Hi, I'm Manish Jana. It actually came about when I was speaking with uh, Wilo, Pitch Jordan. Wilo in the building. And I was writing a screenplay, and he asked me if I was going to use my real name or a pseudonym. Uh, it never occurred to me before that point, so I decided to start looking through some names, and uh, Manish and I just kind of clicked. Manish Tana Haza. What makes this night different from all, all other nights? What makes me so different from all other Jews? You describe yourself in one of your videos as anti-activist. You know you have heroes and anti-heroes? I guess I'd be an anti-activist. An anti-activist. That's it. What did you mean by that? Um, well, anti-activist was a kind of a play on the anti-hero concept, where you have your hero that goes out and says, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and fight something. And the anti-hero just kind of happens to him as it goes as his life goes along. And I think that's what happened with me really. I never set out to be an activist. It just kind of just kind of happened. So I'm an anti-activist. That's it. You really use the power of humor and sarcasm discussing your experiences as a Jew of color. I'm a 20-something-year-old African-American Orthodox Jew. Ooh. When did you realize you were funny? That also just kind of grew out of responding to the same questions over and over again in different ways. No, I didn't convert. No, I'm not Ethiopian either. Not even a little bit. Frustrated, I guess. And that's how the sarcasm grew. Someone gets jock slapped by a Jew of color every seven ten minutes. Jock slapping is that, that initial that, that reflex, that knee jerk reaction that you have uh, being a Jew of color, where you find yourself not being treated as a Jew, really. You have a series in your blog called Real Talk Parsha. Where did you get the idea for this series, and what do you hope readers take away from it? Every Shabbat, my family around the table, we talk about, you know, whatever par shows up that week, and then we, you know, we'd make jokes, well, you know, if Moshe was, was over here, is it over there, kind of said X, Y, Z. What I really want people to take away from it is that, you know, when something is really yours, you're able to play with this. You know, you can take it seriously, but you can see a lighter side to it and like make it make it alive, make it relevant. If you could experience any biblical event firsthand, what would it be and why? I would experience when Elijah is facing off against the priests of Baal. The God of Israel is dead, and Baal has taken his place. <laughs> snarky <laughs> and he's teasing the priests all through the whole thing you know pray louder maybe your god is asleep he doesn't hear you what's going on I am living. more meat more meat and then and he pours like the water over his sacrifice the fire comes out and he's like peace out um, I like Elijah Elijah's a badass young Jews and really all Jews are part of a global interconnected world what impact do you hope to have on young Jews and their perceptions of the Jewish community? The impact that I'd like to have is to emphasize that Judaism is global, that you can find Jews everywhere, that they don't all look like one particular thing. To bring that awareness out there, to bring the voice of Jews of color out there that are either ignored or just not heard at all. You can pretty much find us anywhere. Like where? Excellent question, Mike. 
United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Queen and El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Thank you so much for joining us here in the New York office. Check out Manishana at manishana.wordpress.com. And more information and to see this and other podcasts, go to holdtheshow.org. Look forward to seeing you next month for the next edition of our podcast series. Poland, Romania, Scotland, Armenia, Ireland, Russia, Oman, Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq, and Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Jordan, both in Mr. Wade and Bahrain.